Three Point S T V outside the Emirates after interesting result. It was Arsenal two finished Arsenal two by Munich two. Um, I have the mighty Marks here. What are we saying? You okay? I'm what, mate. Um, we also have Johnny Don Carolis. Johnny Don Carolis. Don Carolis. Good name, isn't it? <laughs> it is a very good name. Very good name. Right. Let's start with. Uh, let's start with you, Johnny. Let's start with me. <laughs> start with you. Start on you. Um, so, what was actually your feelings going into the game? Feelings going into the game. I thought yeah. um, Arsenal been playing very good football, yeah. um, playing superb stuff, liquid football, pacey, zippy around the park. Everyone's up for it. The stadium is going to be buzzing. Mm. Um, Bayern Munich, obviously a very good team. A little bit uh, hit and miss in the league at the moment. Mm. But the, the I, I always thought if Arsenal, the fans got behind and um, scored a goal and Munich went one down, they could capitulate. And I, I always thought that was the case. Um, so when the goo, when Arsenal went one up, I thought in very interesting that, that, that Bayern got back into it. Uh, I thought that Bayern... They played it very clever, hit pro very well on the break. I thought Kane was, was excellent at dropping deep uh, and letting Masala run into that nine roll. They've obviously got three very, very quick players in Masala, in uh, Gnabry and in Sane. So th those three working together are always going to be dangerous. I thought Arsenal contained um, them very well. Um, unfortunate to go behind. I think uh, uh, the, the, the penalty was... was Justified, but a little bit harsh. From where we were sitting, it looked like it was quite hard done by. So Semi-justified, but not sure what happened with Raya. Looked like it, he came out to sweep the ball, went to Gabriel, and then some kerfuffle happened, and then they were straight in like, a, like they are like, like uh, knife through butter. <laughs> <laughs> Hot knife through butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks for that. No, that's brilliant. Um, Marty, um, I'm going to ask you about... about that Ben White, that fantastic tackle, that vital tackle, that would have put Bayern Munich like 3-1 up. Yeah, the three game's one. out of sight. 3-1, yeah. I think the game's out of sight. Ben White, you've got to give him some credit for having the arsehole to make that sort of challenge inside the penalty area against I mean, a, a player like that. Yeah. It, it, I, it, was, it was a phenomenal piece of defending and that is why ben, ben White is, for me, one of the most consistent performers in the Premier League and obviously showing now in a, in a big European stage and a work, sort of a world stage. It's a shame that he's not playing for England, but all the better for us because uh, it means that he's fitter and sharper and I'm, I, I back him on that decision if he's going to turn out with performances like that. And, and, you know, he went from, it was that yin and yang from, uh, you know, he had, that play, he had that chance that was on a sitter, uh, you know, hits it straight at Neuer. And unfortunately, that yeah. chance there, we, you, you think we go 2-0 up. This is it, and yeah. this is it. And like John said, we, you know, they, at 2-0, they, they could then think that the going's good here and, uh, and we're going to get some more. And you end up 3-0 up against the Bayern. You know, you get another goal and you're 3-0 up against the Bayern. It seemed like it's at half time, which could happen. You know, you, 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 you're living in a wonderland, and who knows how the rest of the rest of the game plays out. But it didn't work out like that. And that's Bayern Munich you're playing. You know, league form it does not dictate Champions League form, as we saw when Chelsea won the Champions League, and I think they finished sixth in the Premier League, um, and they won the Champions League, and they, they they won it in tight spots by playing a certain type of football. And you know, this Bayern Munich time, it's this Bayern Munich side. If I'm honest with you, I saw when I saw the lineup. Um, come out. The, the one thing that I really wanted to see at the Emirates was Manuel Neuer. But also, I didn't want to see Manuel Neuer at the Emirates because Manuel Neuer is probably arguably the best goalkeeper in the world and has been for probably the best part of maybe 10 years. Uh, he's a phenomenal, I think he was the goalkeeper that really changed this sweeper keeper situation and, and brought goalkeeping into what it is today. He, he was the pioneer for me. He was the pioneer of that from your, your Petr Czechs and those sort of Oliver Kahn's and those sorts of goalkeepers and your David Siemens, etc. Uh, Jens Lehmann's big stand-up goalkeepers. He, he really changed that role. So to be able to see him, watch him at the Emirates was an absolute joy. But he didn't look as good. I mean, he's been bought in his first game back. Um, and, he, he, you know, for me, if I'm honest with you, I think a few years ago, his positioning on the first Saka goal yeah. might, might have changed that a little bit because he sort of half didn't go to save it and he kind of accepted it was past him. 
Uh, that's, 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 that's it. Finished off. He, 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 well, he dives and he kind of, as he goes, he yeah. pulls back from it, which usually he would go for. But yeah, it was, it was a sublime bit finish from Saka. Yeah. Um, but then they go down the other end and they just literally cut us to pieces like a, you know, a samurai with his sword, just absolutely <laughs> I mean, opening. Yeah. Opening up. I mean, um, the thing know, is about he, this. He, 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 hang on, his victim opening up his victim, chopping him to pieces, <laughs> and then and then it's then it's one all, and then you know the penalty situation. That ball goes through. It's a penalty before you know it. You blink of an eye. It's two. They're yeah. two one up, and you're thinking. I mean, that's. Are, but are the thing is, I mean, I mean, Bayern Munich. They only had spells, didn't they? they? They weren't. It's not like they were all over us. It's not like they're the Bayern Munich of old, where well, they, you uh, know they yeah. control the game let's, and let's be, it's, it's, it's it's only in spells, was it? I mean, Arsenal pretty much dominated, think, didn't they? If you're referring to an, a Bayern Munich team that many years ago came and dominated a lacklustre and very poor Arsenal team, if you're referring to that, then yes. Are they the, the team that they have been? Potentially not, but they're Bayern Munich and, and they're a huge European side and, and they know how to do and win this competition and they know how to play in this competition. So, you know, arguably look at the players they've got and, and look at, like, when you're watching that game, the level of play in that Champions League, the ball, the way it zips around, the power, the pace, yes. the, the yes. speed and, you know, panache of these players, is, is it's top, top level. It's, you know, you blink and you miss it and that's the truth. It's so quick, it's so fast and, you know, I remember watching it and sometimes when the ball's moving around the area, it hurts your eyes it's that quick yeah. and, and, you, and you miss it and and, and, that, and, that, and that's what it is that's why Champions League football for me yeah. is the best football in the world well, this is it I mean it's, it's kind of similar to like the Arsenal world Every, everybody remembered Arsenal when we were dominating and then we ended up with quality players but we just couldn't do the job when, when it mattered and it seems like that's where Bayern Munich are right now they have quality players well, but they see. just let's see. I mean, seem to let's not see. be getting let's the see. results that they, they need especially in the Bundesliga well let's see I mean that's the Bundesliga but they could go on and win this competition we don't know that yet Arsenal could go and win this competition it's half time essentially you know we've got you know it's, we're halfway through this tie we'll see how this tie plays out um, at, at the Allianz and, and that's all that's going to be a you know, we had we had a huge, huge upper hand. They didn't have any fans here. It was a full sixty thousand Arsenal fans yeah. here. Um, you know, we we had a huge advantage of that. But look, we've got a result, not the ideal result. We go there, we nick a goal, yeah. we keep it tight. It's all, all right. you know, it's all there to play for. All right, cool. And uh, Johnny, how do you see it going uh, for the second leg? Um, it's set up really nicely. Um, I think Arteta can go in with the boys, and he, a, there's a lot that he can take from from this game I tonight. Think you can tell a lot. Um, by the, the, the looking at the two managers, we were sat right behind the dugout today, and you could tell exactly how uh, each manager were taking the, this game, and you could tell exactly how the temperament of each manager and how it's going to play out for the next round. You saw two two cool, and when Davis got that yellow card early on in, in the game, he got a yellow card. Tuchel was absolutely doing his nut. Did you see him on the touchline? He was throwing, his, his, his spitting his dummy out, running up and down the touchline. It was wow. like that manager's under pressure. Right? Our tech is doing a fucking good job, We're doing a, an exceptional job. The guy's composed, the guy, okay, when, when something doesn't go right on the pitch, he kicks off, but then he composes himself and he re, re evaluates it and then pushes the players on. It, you could just tell the difference. So you can just tell that the changes that were made in the last 10 minutes set the tone for the next round. It looked to me, bringing Partey on, it looked like our tech was, he was solidifying, he was almost shutting up shop thinking, I'm studious, I've got this cover for the next game. I'm going to go back, rerun the tape, and I've sussed you guys out. I'm going to go to your place and we're going to take it. We're going to take this home. You're going to nick maybe one, maybe two. I could see him even taking it by two goals and, 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 and kicking on to the semi-final. So I, I personally would, would think that um, that Arsenal can, can, can progress quite comfortably into the next round. Slim, thank you. And Marty, what do you, what do you think? Well, obviously, I, 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 think I, I think Arsenal can do it. You know, obviously, they clearly can. But, you know, this, is, this isn't the Mickey Mouse Club, mate. It's Champions League football and it's <laughs> quarterfinals and anything can happen. And if you're not careful, you know, the, the results, you know, as, as we've seen tonight with uh, City and Real Madrid, free all game. Now, you know, these are top, top free-flowing uh, teams that play <laughs> exceptional football. And, you know, can we go there and do it? Of course we can. You know, we can beat anyone on our day. I've said that and I believe it. Um, but... You've got to do it on your day. You know, you, you, there's no good just turning up physically. You've got to be there emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and then stick it down. There you go. Nice one, guys. Well, there you have it. It's Arsenal 2, Bayern Minute 2. Second leg, still another 90 minutes to go. Can we do it? Just have to wait and see. See you on the next one. Three Players TV.